let's get started. Okay, first things first, what I have here with me is 3D Rilakkuma stickers. I don't know how people come to Korea and not get anything Rilakkuma related. They say come to Rilakkuma, come to Korea and not get anything Rilakkuma related. I also got a set of four erasers. They're so cute. I saw them at like your typical um, convenient grocery store and I'm like, I need them! Now also I, when I was in Seoul, I went to Coex Mall and I came across a store called Butter. I wasn't really going to buy anything until I saw these soaps. Now I don't know what fruit this is, but it smelled good. So I bought it. There's also a mango one that's, it looks diced and it just smells amazing. I put it in my suitcase for like a week. And when I opened my suitcase, the fumes of mango punched me in the face. It was awesome. Anyway, I also bought a box of three Macron soaps. Now, if they smell like Macrons, I don't know. I didn't open it. I didn't smell it. I just thought it was really cute. My sister loves Macrons, so I thought she would like one. I'm probably more than likely not going to use these for soap. They're so adorable. Now, what I also have is my Tony Moly um, haul or whatever I bought from there. Now, this is a pig collagen mask. No, it's not made from pig, obviously, but it's in a pig container. Well, I don't know. It could have pig in it. I don't know. But I just bought it because the container is really cute. I own a guinea pig, so anything pig related is a must have. It is so cute. I haven't used the product yet, so when I open it, that's why you can't see anything inside. Just a spoon. But I will try it when I get home. Here's also the mask that you can also have. I Again, I bought it just for the packaging. So you can get the jar or a single face mask. I decided to have both. This is the Choco Pore um, Cleanser. It's in the shape of a mushroom. And also, it actually smells like chocolate. It is really cute. I love the packaging that Tony Moly does for a lot of their products. And it smells really good. Like I said, like chocolate. Don't eat it though. Now here I have an alloy mask pack. There's 10 masks in here. Haven't used this product either. I haven't used a lot of the products I bought yet. But I hear a lot of good things about alloy, so I decided to get it. Now I also have these strawberry black pore strips. Now, if it smells like strawberry, I don't know. I don't know if it's just the character. Punks is, comes with three steps. Three steps, one, two, and three. And I'll probably try this when I get home as well. And with every Tony Moly purchase, you get free samples here. I have two goat milk masks. Um, I also got... Makeup remover wipes. And a goat milk white ink toner thing. And cream something. And... 50 my sunny sunscreen but this this is like a snail something I don't know exactly what it is I really don't am I even gonna lie this I don't even know what this is I read the packaging for this and I don't even know what it's for but but right here I also have a cherry blossom whitening cream I'm quite tan so I don't know what all these whitening products are gonna do for me and they all come here and packaged in a small free sample, actually this is quite large, free sample bag. I also got my, bought this one, it's not free sample, it is a pineapple lip gloss for my younger sister. She's just 15 so she, she doesn't really wear anything too colorful, it's more sheer. There's also these lip balms, this one's in the shape of a cherry and it smells like cherry. I also have a peach one that I will show you in a minute. Um, you, these little, the little jars are lip balms, but you can get the big jars and they're hand creams. There's also a blueberry, I think an apple and an orange. Uh, there's several different ones. I'm, I try to get the rest of the lip balm collection before I leave Korea. They're so cute. Now what I also have here are called lip tattoos. I got a red and an orange. I got the orange specifically for my friends, so I will not be testing out that one, but I have used the red one, I think twice. It's very tinted. Now this one is called lip tattoo, so you like a lip tint, you put it on your lip, and I say you leave it on for about a minute, 
and then wipe it off. Here I only had it on the hand for like 10 seconds so it didn't stain as well, but it stained. Um, so the longer you let it stain your lips, or your skin in this case, the more pigmented the color will be. And I really love this lip tint. Now right here is a cute, adorable pencil case. I got this for a friend as well. It's a caramel milk or caramel candy. It says caramel milk on the front. It's in the shape of a milk carton, but it is a pencil case. Um, it reminds my friend of BTS's Sugar, so that's why I got it for her. Now I got myself this at Home Plus. It is a personal set, a spoon and chopsticks that have eyes and a mustache that say Bon Appetit. And this was a must have for me as well. Now I don't shop at Lush often, but when I was in Seoul, I came across a Lush store and I fell into the trap. This is Cup of Coffee. It is a face scrub. It smells very good. I mean, if you don't like the smell of coffee, then maybe it probably smells gross too. But I love coffee. You can see some of that coffee separating from the mixture, but just give it a quick mix and it will go back to normal. I also got a body scrub. It's called Herbism. Herb Herb Herbism? Something like that. And it's a body scrub. It's a green body scrub. I believe, if I remember, it helps peel off all the dead skin cells. And when I had the, when the um, Korean workers tried on my arm, she says it whitened my skin too. Now, if that's true, I don't know, but I spent like 60 US dollars on that. Now, here I have a fan from the Hanok Village um, Information Center. They had a gift shop. And I bought this fan, and it came with this sleeve for it. It's a really pretty pink sleeve. Now, when you open it, it's <coughs> excuse me, it's Korean women in hanboks, and I thought that was so pretty. And then I realized it's Korean women bathing, and so one of, some of them don't have tops on. I didn't realize that until after I bought it, but oh well, it's still a pretty fan nonetheless. But it was surprising, so I didn't realize it. <laughs> now this, I got this from Coex Mall from a souvenir shop. This fan is actually quite larger, and I favor it over the other one. It has pretty, like, traditional pretty Korean knots at the bottom. It's a much larger fan. I think it's gorgeous. It has the river, the boat, the trees, the mountains. It's very beautiful. Um, this is something I cannot wait to display in my room. I really can't wait to show this to other people. It's my favorite fan. And obviously it's quite larger than the previous one I just showed you. Very, very pretty fan. I had a little trouble closing it right here. Now this I also got from the Hanok Village Information Center gift shop. It is a little Hanok. Now if you don't know what Hanok is, it is a traditional Korean home. This is actually an incense burner. Personally, I don't like the smell of incense, so I don't burn it. I'm not Buddhist or anything, but it was too cute to pass up. These were quite expensive. This alone was like almost $20 or it was about 20,000 won, maybe about 18 US dollars. I wanted the bigger ones, but it was like 60,000 won and yeah. Now here I have um, Korean fan bookmarks. They're really pretty. They have a glossy finish, bleh, glossy finish on top of them. And I don't know, I got one for me, my older sister, my younger sister, my mom. Now which one I'm deciding to keep for myself, I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe I should just be selfish and keep them all for myself. No, I'm just kidding, but they're really pretty. Moving on, moving on. Here is one of my um, most loved things that I've purchased. It is a Moomin cup. I they see movement and I think Adaro from 21. Um, I got this from Artbox. Artbox has now become my favorite store in Korea. Now, when I was in Seoul, I also went to Forever 21 and you can't just come to Korea and not buy socks. Look at them, they're awesome and so cute. Oh, it's probably my favorite one, the French toe socks. I love it. I love it so much. 
Now I love these striped socks with the motions on it. The sad one's probably my favorite, but yes, I wanted to buy more socks, but I wasn't sure how much money I'll, how much more money I was spending sold that day, so I kind of just bought four. They're so cute! Now I also bought these hair scrunchy hair tie things at Route 21. I it's getting hot outside, so my hair is gonna be up a lot more. I usually put my hair in fan buns or just buns or ponytails, so I thought, hey, make it cute. I also got another one. It's like a pale baby pink, a dusty baby pink color with gold polka dots all over. Ooh, my hand looks like a bunny. I also got earrings. They're on this crazy clearance sale. All the earrings were like a chun one, about roughly a dollar less than a US dollar. I these I I don't know what I'm saying. I can't English. I love these white ones though. They're so pretty. They remind me of my aunt. Now here is my Etude House haul. This is um big something I can't read it. <laughs> it's a a green eye circle concealer or eye concealer. Um, I can't use this one or test it because I bought this for a friend as well. Um, my sister actually uses something like this back home. It's for your dark circles and it helps um, with redness as well. And I also, here is also the Dear Darling Tints by Etude House. This is one of their newer ones. It's Jeddo or Jeddu Red. I, I don't remember. Um, I actually own one already from one of the older colors they have. It's called Vampire Red, and it's the one I'm currently wearing in the video. Um, a friend gave it to me right before I came to Korea as a traveling gift. And I love this color so much. I believe this is the darkest one they have. Now what I also got from Etude House are these nail polishes. I got a nudie pink and looks kind of like a nudie coffee color or beige. I have the nudie pink on my nails but it's kind of a bad example because they're chipping off. Now to my favorite purchase is this bubble tea sleeping mask. I have the green tea one. I also bought a strawberry one that's pink and a black milk tea that's a coffee color. I'm just going to show you the green tea one, but this is probably my favorite purchase. It's so cute and it even comes with a spoon to take out the little boba at the bottom. The little boba at the bottom provides moisture and then the color part, the bubble tea, is the sleeping mask itself. You wear it on your face as you sleep and wash it off in the morning. Personally, one of my favorite purchases that I've made in Korea so far. Not to mention the bottles like glass or feels like glass. Now, of course, with any cosmetic store in Korea, you get samples in here. I have toning white C. I'm assuming it's a cream. I don't know what this baking powder stuff is for, to be honest. Um, I believe this is a set of whitening stuff, I believe. I don't remember. I didn't really look, look too well the free samples. This is another face mask. You just get a lot of free samples. The amount you get depends on how much you spend at cosmetic stores in Korea. Now here I got souvenirs for the family. This one is for my brother. It's a Korea baseball cap. <laughs> Shopping for boys is hard so I just got him a cap and a t-shirt. Now this says the Republic of Korea on it in Korean and it has the Korean flag symbol and everything. Now for my little sister, I actually got her this Korean coin bag. It's so cute. It has a traditional knot on it. And it has the very traditional, colorful, Korea look to it. So many different colors, bright colors. It makes it so pretty. It's such a pretty little coin bag. And I thought something she could find useful. Now for my friend, I got her the squarish rectangular one for a pencil case. She's still in high school. So I thought this is something she might enjoy. I didn't take this one out of the packaging because I'd have to completely unwrap it and I wouldn't be able to close it back up again. So I left it in the packaging. Now this I got for my dad is actually a fan shoe pen. Um, it was quite expensive. I've never paid this much for a pen. It was like 15 US about. 
more or less. So yeah, there's writing on it. I'm not sure if it's like normal traditional Korean, like old school Korean. But he liked the pen. Next thing I got is these chopsticks for my family, my uncle, not my family, my uncle, his girlfriend, and my cousin. My cousin's been wanting chopsticks, so I decided, hey, why not get him some chopsticks? Unfortunately, I didn't like the feeling of these too much. They actually felt cheaper than the ones my friend got me when she came to Korea several years ago before I got a chance to come. But I didn't know this until I opened them and my first time opening them was for this video. Next thing we got is this compact I got for my aunt. It's got like an opal stone to it and Korean writing and a tree with red flowers and butterflies and that was really pretty. My parents are fervent coffee drinkers so I thought they would enjoy this. It seemed rather appropriate to bring one home. Now this I got from my mom. I got another one from my grandma. These Korean jewelry boxes. They're about the same in design wise. So I'm not going to show you the other one except for a little difference on the middle design on the top of the jewelry box. It's quite expensive. This is really small and it was about $20 each. The more elaborate ones range from like $60 to almost $200. I had a budget but they're still really cute nonetheless. and a magnet for the fridge back home. And of course, I got this BTS Sing Forever album and my Super Junior Experience Korea book. I really wanted this book um, before and I got to see them in places that I visited, which I thought was really cool. Now, if you're in Korea and you don't take the Japanese style photos, I actually did one here with my friend that I made here. If you don't do this, you're not doing it right. Now, I also got the snapback from Artbox. I love Artbox so much. It's so cute. It says top look on the bottom of the rim and it's not actually a snapback because you don't actually snap it in the back. It's actually more like a pool and clinch it's i like it it fits my fat head <laughs> so, now what i also really wanted to get in korea were snapbacks so i'm hoping to get another one before i leave but i kind of drifted off course i wanted to get this korean backpack as well i love the look of the korean backpacks they're so square not in a mean way but literally they look very squarish and this one Loved. It has a lot of room, it has a big, two big pockets, it even has a laptop slot in the back, it has two side pockets. Um, mine wasn't adjusted very well when I wore it, so it looks really high. Um, and looks like I'm wearing a little kid backpack, it's actually an adult backpack, I just don't have it adjusted properly. Now what I also got at Latte Mart was this tiny kimchi pot. Traditionally these things are massive. When I went to Gong Bukung Palace, these things were like half the height of me. So to get it this small was really cute. Now it's a real pot so it can break so I'm kind of scared about taking it back home. But it was so cute. It was another must have for me to get while in Korea. Now, Thank you for watching guys, that was my haul from Korea, I might do another one right before I leave. So thank you for watching again and I'll see you guys next time.